Hey, how's it going? So today I'm going to be talking about a uh, uh, tank, in particular a tank uh, that's called Merkava, and what that tank is. The Merkava is a series of main battle tanks developed and used by the Israeli Defense Force. The name Merkava is Hebrew for chariot. The Merkava tank is known for its unique design and its primary tank used by the Israeli Defense Force, IDF. Uh, uh, there are, might be some updates, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure of what kind of information I might be having access to, since uh, a lot of that information might be classified. Either way, uh, the tanks and the use cases, is it for uh, defense? or for attacking either way uh, myself what I'm interested in is in engineering <laughs> so <laughs> how to build one of those things so the use cases perhaps they could be used for not necessarily the best purposes but what I'm uh, myself interested in is engineering and how to build one as well as engines and perhaps uh, there are some plans to build the electric tanks I'm not entirely sure if that's even true but uh, the one we would like to take a look at uh, in this video, it will be this tank. Let's take a look at the key features of Markava uh, fourth generation, potentially, uh, since they have made uh, massive and a lot of improvements over time. Let's take a look at the first one, that would be crew protection. Markava series plays a strong emphasis on crew protection. Unlike most of other tanks, Markava engine is located at the front, acting as additional layer of armor to protect the crew. Uh, I have read it, I have read this information some time ago, uh, perhaps about 10 years ago, uh, then I was looking and reading a lot of different military vehicles armored uh, uh, military vehicles and how much emphasis Israel is particularly taking thing to protect its staff uh, soldiers by implementing some of the changes engineering changes and improving design of the tank by moving in the engine into the front and replacing all the staff of the tank in the back uh, I don't personally, uh, perhaps there are people who had, uh, the, I personally think it was uh, one of the first models who did it. There might be other tanks by now who had followed a similar design, as well as I have done a little bit uh, research with uh, regards to bandages. Uh, on the, so overall, I was just looking for potential uh, uh, projects, finance, or something that I'm interested in, in design. So, and uh, some of the bandages that the Israeli military have designed. Uh, so, let's, uh, let's keep going with the tank. Armament. The Merkava Mark IV is equipped with a 120mm smooth bore gun, capable of firing a variety of projectiles, including IPF, uh, DS, armored piercing fin, stabilized discarding, Sabbath rounds and high explosion uh, explosion rounds. It also have 12.7 millimeter anti-aircraft machine gun and 7.60 millimeters uh, caution machine gun. Which are some of the features that uh, a tank has. Composite armor. Uh, the tank is protected by composite and modular armor that provides a high level of protection against wide range of threats, including anti-tank missiles and RPGs, rocket uh, propel grenades. It, it does have, so it's something that I, when I was looking at the history of World War II and some of the engineering advancements that was done by Germans and the way how they improve armor by instead of having direct hit into the armor they would uh, lift that armor at a certain uh, percentage. By doing that, they can uh, kinetic ed energy that will go into the armor would be uh, bounce against and moved away from a tank. There's just some, some of the engineering ideas of that. 
<laughs> I can't see if any of you are interested in building one. <laughs> I can't. But overall, it's, it's interesting. I got a piece of equipment. Fire control systems. The Makara, Makava Mark IV is equipped with advanced fire control systems, including thermal image and night vision technology, which enhances its target capabilities. Mobility. The tank is powered by 1.5 thousand horsepower engine providing it with good mobility and speed even through terrain uh, even if rough terrain so it's a 1.5 thousand uh, <laughs> perhaps worth mentioning as well as I have done some research and I have published in my book about it I have done a lot of research on different tanks especially what countries what kind of tanks you can own in different countries there are different use cases <laughs> depending of uh, who perhaps who you are because there are a lot of uh, uh, influencers right now who are buying tanks for whatever reason <laughs> so they might implement something that you not necessarily would be able to use the turret of the tank right but either way you can own the tank and you can drive it on the roads and <laughs> so there is a potential there uh, for people who are interested Modular design. The Markava is designed with modularity in mind, allowing for updates and modifications to keep that tank relevant and effective over time. Troop transport. One of the unique features of Markava is its ability to carry a small infantry squad in the rear of the tank, providing additional tactical flexibility for the Israeli defense horses yeah that's one idea it's worth noting that Markava tank series can go on through several uh, iterations and upgrades since its introduction in the late 1970s overall for an engineer sub there uh, it's uh, something that I'm currently looking at a lot there are potential opportunities if you have a business uh, to do business with uh, different defense companies up there uh, not necessarily the contracts themselves would be very good contracts <laughs> but uh, there are a lot of perhaps uh, financial incentives if that's something that you are interested in and looking for to work together and develop some projects with those industries if anything any takeaways for, with regards to business uh, it's something that I'm reading myself uh, would even uh, worth mentioning uh, depending on perhaps defense organization that you would reach out to to do business with some of those organizations depends on a lot of factors might have better contracts uh, just do your research to understand well what kind of organizations you can work with what uh, organizations what opportunities they have available what would be uh, entry level uh, how you can begin working with those organizations defense organizations as well as uh, what would be requirements and what would be use cases as well as owning your work which I personally or one would be of the key areas which I personally believe are very important and uh, if you were to de develop any projects if you would have any rights if you had those rights perhaps given to you after a certain number of years <laughs> uh, depending on what kind of project you might be working on and if there would be perhaps fuel lasers perhaps uh, reconnaissance anything right so uh, there are a lot of opportunities that's what i'm saying and for those particular projects uh money is not an issue <laughs> money they, they might be uh perhaps over time i think differently about those projects but money is not an issue for most of those projects <laughs> For people out there who are interested in learning more, I have published a book. The name of the book is Game Strategy. In the book, I'm sharing a lot of information for people out there uh, who are interested in uh, currently, perhaps depending on what state you are in, perhaps you are currently doing a lot of research or you have already an existing business or either perhaps you are looking to invest in different businesses. So I'm looking to share a lot of information, whatever stage you might be in of what would be important for you depending on where you are um, we're looking a lot at the markets as well as how to understand very complex ideas concepts i'm um, starting every chapter making it very simple to understand 
and uh, across the chart uh, chapter I'm moving to more advanced and difficult things and sharing a lot of ideas there of how to understand it different industries and how you can potentially run your business or invest in different businesses so you can find this book in the description below as well as top retailers has it uh, just to summarize today's video overall uh, as a project uh, to develop something like a Markava tank a main battle tank it's a very taunting task but uh, there are a lot of smart people who constantly improve in working as a technology piece of uh, technology it's very interesting for myself uh, I find it very interesting as well as I have uh, published a lot of information about different tanks and some of the people out there who own tanks right in the world uh, overall but working with the government or different uh, military industry companies uh, uh, might be a challenging task, it's especially if you're just starting out. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know, I, can, I, well, I didn't want to make a joke about it, that uh, if <laughs> one day my, someone might ca come to pick me up from wherever I'm sending those emails from, uh, negotiating the price for how much I would like to get paid, this is what might happen, right? <laughs> if I'm working with any of those companies, someone will come to pick me up and I don't know, they would write in the newspaper something interesting, what, something bad that I did. <laughs> well, either way, uh, you never know. Either way, uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.